Hey guys, it's Jan Chrisanne, first name Jan, middle name Chrisanne, and welcome back or two if you are new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to the JC Career, and today, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys me taking down my not list box braids again. The last time that I posted this video, it did really good, and you guys enjoyed it, so I'm here with another one. So, as you guys know, I did do the rice water treatment once. I kept my braids in for a month. I did them every week. I did the rice water treatment every week, so I did it for about four weeks i believe so this is part of my growth and after i washed it i did all my scalp with um i'm not sure the name of the oil i'm gonna pop it on the screen but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah okay so right now i'm just doing like a little estimate of where i think my hair could possibly stop because as you guys know my hair has been growing for the past eight months due to the rice water treatment if you're thinking about trying it i definitely recommend it a hundred percent because it grew my hair a lot and if you guys want me to do a video on my natural hair journey let me know in the comments down below before quarantine my hair was really damaged it was breaking and everything and i decided to fix that so if you guys want a video on that let me know this is just a little mental check-in for you how are you doing how was your day how's 2021 treating you so far for me um i feel like 2021 been going smooth i would say it's like nothing is going bad but nothing is going good i don't know it's like in the middle it's like a perfect balance for me i don't know i feel like my life is just balanced at the moment how's your year going though let me know in the comments down below you know I would tell you guys a few of my new year's resolutions but i do have a video that's going to be dropping really soon where i did share some of them in there so it'll make sense i'll tell you guys right here was just a moment where i was just really bummed out that i had to take on my braids bro i felt like i came from a vacation and then like me taking on my braids it's like me landing like back in my hometown or something <laughs> bruh maybe it's just me but that's how i felt taking on my braids and as you guys see, it is a lot of buildup. Um, that's buildup from like the shining gem that I put in there and then just everything, the dirt and everything. Um, yeah, it's kind of ah, nasty, but it's fine. And as you guys can see, it's more build up. But um, I do want to ask, what content do you guys want to see? Because I feel like the videos that I've been putting out lately, it hasn't been hitting the wide audience that I want it to hit. You know what I mean? Like, I have a thousand plus subscribers and it's no reason why my videos should average a hundred plus views. Like, it just don't add up. So please let me know what videos you guys would like to see from me. Like, what content do you guys like? I feel like my channel is at a point where it's just like a stable line. Like, it's just not growing the way I want it to grow. Yeah, let me know what video ideas you guys want to see. I'm not gonna say I'm on the brink of giving up. It's discouraging when you put in A plus hours of filming and editing just for your videos to reach the same hundred people that's watching it all the time. You know, it sucks. But, um, yeah, just let me know, like, give me your feedback on the concept that I'm posting. Like, you don't have to leave, um, video ideas, but just give me feedback, like, you know what I mean? What I need to change, constructive criticism, anyway. Okay, and right here, I was trying to show you guys that this whole portion of my hair was growth. So, I think I've gained, like, over an inch of growth, I'd say. And especially, like, the front of my hair, like, it grew a lot. so as you guys could see i am done with half of my head um it was a lot of build up like a lot of product as you guys can see right there yeah but my hair grew a lot
oh snap i don't know how i forgot to mention but i did keep my braids in for two months like i believe for eight weeks i'd say um and these braids did take me like 10 hours to do and i'm not even talking like 10 hours in one day like i started i started them late and i ended up finishing them like part of my hair at like two in the morning and then i continued the next day so these braids took around 10 hours so it was no way i was gonna take 10 hours to put these braids in my head and leave them in for only a month no i love i wanted to keep them in for 10 weeks but i'm not no but i wanted to keep them in as long as i could to get as much growth and because i put my time into that hairstyle i was not gonna take it out right away like time is money child i am little <laughs> And if you're not following me on my TikTok, I did post um like a little like progress video, TikTok video, um, of like me doing my braids. And I also reposted it on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on my socials, feel free to do that. They're gonna be on the screen and in the description box down below. So yeah. And now we're on the last braid finally. It took me about like two hours to take down these braids. Usually it takes me like under an hour because I don't do them this small. This is my first time I ever did my braids small, but we're finally done. Period. Y'all see the volume, the length, the growth. Period. As I should, you know what I mean? Um, all that build up though, but don't mind that because I am going to show you guys the aftercare of me taking down my braids so usually whenever i take out a protective hairstyle i don't like to wash my hair right away i like to like do a few hairstyles that require a lot of gel just so that i could get my hair really dirty so i could finally wash it but for right now i'm just damping my hair because i am going to be putting in this chia butter which i got from a friend that went to my um middle school um i'm going to be trying it out for the first time and it does require to put leave-in conditioner into your hair so yeah right now i'm just using the garden of eve leave-in conditioner and i'm just combing it through my hair so that i could go in with the chia bay butter i'm not sure if i said it right but yeah i'm just going to detangle and everything from the ends to the roots you know <laughs> So right now i'm applying the shebe butter from at naturally struggling on instagram this is a homemade hair butter in the flavor frustrated it contains ingredients like jamaican black castor oil avocado oil almond oil etc and this is used to promote hair growth and this is actually my first i'm trying it as i mentioned so yeah and you do have to apply this in your hair every week to see like growth of course so i'm going to try my best to use this every week but when i applied this in my hair as you guys could tell by my facial expression right here like i was really impressed it made my hair feel super soft like no other product ever made my hair feel like this like seriously i'm not even cabin bro my hair felt so soft when i applied this product in my hair and i'm dead not even gassing this product up bro i'm just saying this because this is actually my honest review like she didn't even pay me to say this i actually bought the product from her because we're supporting black businesses all 2021 and further on so if you are interested in purchasing this shave butter make sure you dm at naturally struggling on instagram she takes orders through dm you could paypal her or whatever um and it only costs 13 dollars and some change which includes shipping and all that so yeah
going to be repeating the same process to the other side and look at that transition look at that transition wait for it oop yep and just like that the other side is done poor and all look bad but trust the process love One week later. Body crazy, curvy, wavy, big titties, little weight. Body crazy, curvy, wavy, big titties, little weight. Body, yaddy, yaddy. Okay, so the products that I'm going to be using is the Tresemme Conditioner and the Shea Moisture Shampoo. Don't come at me for using Tresemme, that's because I can find the Shea Moisture and Conditioner. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but use a t-shirt to dry your hair instead of a towel. And now for the big reveal of shrinkage. <laughs> So usually after I wash my hair, I let it sit in the t-shirt for like an hour. I just let it dry and then afterwards I just take a big tooth comb and I try my best to detangle it. So after I run the comb through it for a little bit, I'm just going to section out my hair so that I could apply the grease in it and everything. <laughs> I just used the Blue Magic Hair Food. If you never used this when you were younger, bro, you're not black. Like, your black card should be revoked. And it's Black History Month. Like, that's embarrassing. It's like, nah. But yeah, I'm just gonna use this and just, like, lather it throughout my hair. And when I do that, I try my best to untangle it once again with the big comb. Sometimes I go in with, like, the smaller comb. And then I braid my hair, obviously. <laughs> I was struggling bro I was really struggling bro like if you look at my facial expressions bro like my hair was so freaking tangled bro like it was hurting so bad like this is the worst I've ever been
now that I'm done with basically most of my hair, I'm just going to do the same process to the other side. Now that I'm done just braiding on my hair, I'm going to be using the Goddess Strength Oil, which I got from Amazon, and I'm just going to be applying it throughout my scalp. Okay, so now your girl's hair is greased, her scalp is oiled, and my braids move. Like, who you know? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. It's like, nah. <laughs> And of course, I will be wrapping my head because what black girl do you know don't go to sleep without wrapping their head? I'll wait. Okay, it's Black History Month. Get in tune. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also hope it was really helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!